Well, hi everybody, it's Doug. Welcome to Pocket Women's Loto Lock Tuesday. So this is where we are taking a look at uh, plastic or um, light-bodied Loto locks, lo lockout, tagout locks. And uh, this one I got, I actually got two locks in a package that I had, uh, in order that I purchased all together. And when I looked at the photos, I thought these were Yale locks. There was a series of Yale locks that had this corrugation around the side like this. So I misinterpreted what I was getting. What it turned out to be was this plastic bodied, uh, apparently Loto lock. I don't know why else you'd make a plastic bodied lock. And oddly is branded Chateau, of course made in China. There we go. But um, yeah, that, that zoom doesn't work so good that way. Uh, but either way, the, the Chateau, I've known obviously for some e middling quality uh, puck locks that you see a lot in, um, in uh, you know, storage lockers and stuff like that. But I'm not used to seeing these Loto locks. In fact, I searched around the web and I could not find anything about a plastic bodied chateau. And the funny thing is, I was all ready to do this video saying, I've never seen this before. It's non non-existent. And then somebody posted a bunch of pictures of uh, locks they just got from uh, Mr. Paradise. And one of these was in there. I don't get it. Nobody seems to know about these things, but there, there one was. Either way, it is not a very challenging lock, but I was looking for a way to get it apart. You could see you would think there's a way to get it apart, and I believe you probably could hammer uh, a, a something through here to push that part out. But I thought, you know what? This order also came up with a very beat-up, garbagey one that I thought I might take apart myself, which I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this good one, and then once we're done picking it, we're going to gut this one and see what actually is inside one of these things. So let us get started. Get this one into the, obviously lock it up, get it lined up in the vise. Trust me, it won't be there long. Already got myself a nice uh, standard hook, law lock tools, and just your kind of, I think it's like a 40 thousandths pry bar. Um, because of the keyway being so tight up here, I actually use this as my leverage point for my tension bar. No big deal, it's a pretty easy setup. And let us start with pin one, I got a little click, pin two, Nothing, a little counter. Pin three, I got a click. Pin four is eh, fighting me. Uh, I think I got a little click there. Back to pin one. Got another click on pin one. Some feeling like a set. Uh, nothing on two. On three. Four, and we're in. I believe that's four pins. There, if there's a fifth pin, it's really not doing much of anything. But there we, whoops, too much zoom, Doug. Alrighty. Let's get this in position. And of course, there's no reason to worry about keeping that in the view because we're going to be gutting this one instead. So let's get this one out of the way. Habits, you know. Of keeping that thing in view so uh, just to, to see when I opened this up when I took the cover off this piece was being held in by these cleats on either side so apparently if you can bend those cleats back you could potentially pop that open and and pull that bottom part out um, Nothing too exciting. It's kind of interesting to see how, how badly this can go. This actuator, which I guess I'll pull this out right now. But this actuator literally just sort of catches in 
that piece over there. I'm not going to bother holding it together anymore, but so yeah, the the actuator just sort of rotates to fill those two holes. Again, it's not exactly your highest security lock, but let's see what sort of stuff they put inside these things. So, um, let's see, of course, oh, this one needs to be picked in order to get it uh, the rest of the way guttable, but let's start by pulling off the C-clip. Is to pick it first. Let's see how easily this thing can be picked under the circumstances. Got to be able to pick up that thing first. Okay. Get that in there. Not going to pay much attention to what's moving. I'm just going to get in there and release everything. Okay, so we've got it released and the C-clip way they wanted you to get that off. Alrighty. And what are we going to need for a follower? I don't trust anything, so I'm definitely going to shim the heck out of it. Get that shim in there. I'll probably need... Let's see. Okay, we can get that follower in there. Okay, so... Uh, oh, wow. Is that a plastic core? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, how not to build a lock. This one is your plastic core. The uh, pins, dirty, of course. This thing's been through a lot. Don't see, don't see any, ex any not, well, you don't even expect to see any modifications on the core. And let's take a look in the Bible. Alrighty, so pin one. It's just a standard pin two. Ah, fell out the back. Get that in a sec. May as well flip to the other end. Pin four, very standard. Pin three. Also a standard. I was expecting to see blob pins. Um, made in China, the blob pins are always so badly formed. And uh, springs everywhere. Take a look at a spring. One, two. Three springs. Did I miss one or did it just spring away? Oh, there it is. It's hanging on for dear life in, in number one. You can see him in there. There he goes. Spring. All there and uh, that missing pin that disappeared out the back is right over here alrighty people we didn't expect anything exciting from this but uh, to show you the original lock intact this is what they look like the Chateau Loto lock for Loto lock Tuesday and let's end with a close-up on the pins all gunky and and corroded looking as they are but actually properly shaped 
there you go. Loto Lock Tuesday. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for this Pocket Women's Loto Lock Tuesday. Uh, if you have any comments, please do let me know. I would love to hear if any of you have ever encountered one of these things before. First time for me. I've never seen it. Never touched one before. That is it. Like and subscribe where appropriate. And I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Have a happy Loto Lock Tuesday.